Welcome back to ESBR Boxing's YouTube channel. Delighted as always to be joined by Paul Kelly. Um, we have woken up to the news that Terence Crawford, Errol Spence, or Errol Spence, Terence Crawford, depending on who goes first, um, has reportedly finally been agreed for July 29th in Las Vegas. Paul, um, good to speak to you, as always, especially this early in the morning. Um, first question I've got for you, do you believe Do you believe this? Do you believe this fight is finally going to happen after all these years? Oh, oh, I really, really want to believe it. I really do. And you know what? When I feel like a lot of people don't like certain journalists in boxing and stuff, but I feel like Mike Coppinger is a pretty um, reliable source, to be honest with you. I think in the past, he's kind of let, let, let out news before anyone else has and it's kind of come to fruition. So I'm I'm touching with that. <laughs> yeah, that it is going to happen. And you know what? Why not? I'm going to be really positive and and about it and it is going to happen i'm i'm absolutely buzzing for the fight to happen and oh, if it if it officially gets announced in, in within the next week or so oh, I, i'll be i'll be putting a chart on the wall counting down the days into the yeah. fight yeah look it's look it's it's going to be two top 10 arguably top 5 pound for pound stars going at it i feel like look we all know who these fighters are we all know what they're about two undefeated welterweights Neither of them have really come that close to losing, I would say. They both got accumulated accumulated record of what 60-ish, you know, something something like that. I don't know the exact record, I'll be honest. Um, but it just it sounds like there have been rumors for a while. There have been talk that the two of them have kind of spoken directly over the phone. July 29th is just over two months away, so it makes you think that's enough time to kind of hype to be built um ahead of a massive fight. And as you mentioned, Mike Cobb and just in the source as well as other sources as well so i think there comes to a point when x amount of sources are confirming it and the more sort the more reliable sources that are confirming something i think there's a good chance that it's either true or pretty much true um interested to get your i think a lot of people we've had plenty of time to analyze this fight haven't we? we've had seven eight years maybe to think about it um have you kind of are you one of these people who can't make up your mind in terms of who you think wins or have you always swayed one way now you're swaying the other just kind of what over the last seven eight years have you which way have you gone whether it's been the the Errol Spence way or the Terence Crawford way to be honest with you mate and I might you might come as a shock to you I've always sided with one man I've never really been sitting on the fence in this fight don't get me wrong it's not like I'm a hundred percent confident that this person is going to win the fight but I've always I've always edged Terence Crawford. I've always edged Terence Crawford in this fight. Um, I think stylistically, I think he has in his arsenal things that he can that can he can exploit the weaknesses of um Errol Spence. I think although Errol Spence has been brilliant, and you know, here's who am I to say that you know he, he's underperformed or anything. I think you know in recent years his inactivity has been pretty poor, and I think it's shown more than when Terence Crawford, because he's been inactive as well, but when Crawford has fought, I've actually thought Crawford has looked better out of the two, in my opinion. I completely understand other people disagree with me and, you know, they can make a case for Errol Spence, but I've always slightly leaned towards Terence Crawford. Don't know whether that's because he's been one of my favourite fighters of the past five, ten years, Um, but yeah, for me, I'd still be leaning at this moment in time right towards Terence Crawford ever so slightly. Yeah, okay, sounds good. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm the same as you. Both fan, both both fights are fantastic. I think I've always just edged towards Crawford. I think he's just that little bit better than Errol Spence. And I'm kind of, I think that Terence Crawford, I believe he's kind of led the life of a pro boxer for a long time now, whereas I'm not sure Errol Spence has. Um, we're not going to deep, deep dive too much into that. Um Final question from me, Paul. Terence Crawford will be nearly 36 by the time this fight, if this fight does happen on July 29th. Errol Spence, not a young fighter, 33 years old. I think there's also, in my opinion, there's question marks over how easily Errol Spence makes welterweights now. Um, I think he's always been a big welterweight. He was a big welterweight when he fought Kell Brook, and that fight was quite a long time ago. Um, is this, there was... Is, is this fight happening too late? Not in terms of in terms of like we don't want to see it, but 
uh, would we have preferred this fight to have happened two, three years ago when Crawford was that bit younger, when Errol Spence hadn't been in too many car crashes? What's, what's your opinion on the timing of this fight? Yeah, I think I think you summed it up well there, Elliot. I think maybe, you know, three years ago, something like, you know, when Crawford moved up from 140 up to 147 and put in that good performance against, who was it he beat? Was it Jeff Horn or something? Mm. Something like that. And then after that, in and around that time, for Errol Spence, as you mentioned, it was unfortunately in a couple of car crashes and stuff. Like then was the time to make the fight. Um, doesn't take away from it as a spectacle. I agree with you on that. Um, I you know every every boxing fan's going to tell you they still want to see the fight. It's a bit like Mayweather Pacquiao. Yes, it was way past its sell by date, so to speak. But you're still going to watch it, and you still wanted it to happen. I don't think this is extreme as Mayweather Pacquiao, obviously, because we're still a few years younger than that. But in terms of, is it a little too... I would have preferred to say this two or three years ago, yes. But I'm not going to complain one bit um, because, yeah, it's, it's a fight that we've been wanted for years and years and we're finally going to get it, it seems. Yeah, and there are question marks about this. They're like, they're, I think with Mayweather Pacquiao, there was still, in, uh, in my opinion, there was still quite a fairly strong favourite and who was Mayweather and Mayweather won convincingly as well. Whereas with this fight, you have a lot of people thinking that Errol Spence is going to win. It's still, this is still a 50-50 fight, whereas I don't believe Mayweather Pacquiao was as well. So that's another kind of advantage this fight has over that fight. Um, Paul, been good to speak to you. Um, yeah, f- fingers crossed this, it is happening this time. I know we've kind of spoken about this fight for a long time, as have many boxing fans. And um, yeah, we've been waiting a long time. So July 29th, Crawford and Spence undisputed World Weight Championship. Looks like it's finally going to happen. Paul, thank you very much for joining me. That's nice one, mate. All the best.